In this video, I'm going to be rebuilding the transmission and inspecting the inside of the transfer case from the 1952 Jeep. So let's get started. Okay, now the gearbox has been disassembled into all of its major components. Well, they probably won't need to be taken apart much further because I do have all new bits over here. But there are a couple of things of note. One being, there's a lot of metal in here, though the synchros really aren't all that bad. Some of it is, of course, brass. Other parts of it are from the first gear, which has been ground a lot. Here it is compared to the new one that's going to go in later. So there's been a lot of unsynchronized shifting while in motion with that. Now I'm going to get everything cleaned up and reorganized and then we'll be ready to reassemble this thing. All right, let's get this thing rebuilt. This kit didn't really come with any assembly tools, so I've had to cut down the old shaft to use as a temporary replacement for the new one during assembly so that I can put in the needle bearings without having a problem and get it in the transmission case. Not having all of the proper loading tools really sucks. Okay, I may have thought of a system. Okay, I have finally succeeded and we can move on. I don't have the right diameter of pipe and I do not have an appropriately sized hydraulic press. So in order to get the new bearing on the input shaft, I'm using the old cluster gear to pound on. We're all set. Looks like this gasket got ripped, so I'm gonna have to use some gasket maker. All right, we got all new parts in this thing and it's ready to be bolted back up to its bell housing and to the transfer case. Spins nicely too. That was way harder than it should have been, but transmission and transfer case are together. The gasket is healthy. Now we got to do the bell housing and the throw out bearing. Okay, the transmission and transfer case and of course the bell housing are all back together. The throw out bearing is in there. All the new stuff is in here. I do have a few complaints though. Some things were extra difficult in this thing because the tolerances were different from the stock pieces. Some things were just too big. Some things were press fits on this thing when they weren't on the stock stuff, making assembly very difficult. And in fact, if somebody else ever has to get this transfer case and transmission or the bell housing off the transmission apart at all, they're gonna have a lot of struggle. So I wish I had a lathe and there's probably some parts in here I would have literally turned down 
just to make them better to assemble. It wouldn't have affected anything. It would have just made them like they were before. But anyway, rant over. Next episode, we'll get the engine, transmission, transfer case all bolted up together. All the accessories will go back on the engine and we'll get everything buttoned up just like it should be. For now, at the end of this episode, I just gotta throw on the shift linkage.